In addition to being able to look at the analysis results in the form of a report, you can export that data in a format that will let you bring it into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the benefit of this is that once you've got these numbers in the spreadsheet, you can do things like total the energy that falls on all of the individual cells that make up the analysis area. So you can apply this in many different ways. In this example, what you're looking at is how much energy do you get if you face a building surface due south, 30 degrees west and 30 degrees east. You might have had like a rule of thumb that says that within a certain range, 30 degrees, that you're only going to lose a certain percentage of the energy but still have like maybe most of it. Uh, however, you can actually get real values from the surface by using this tool. So let me just do this for the one surface. This is the one that's going direct to the south. I'm going to run the report, select the mass. So what I'm going to do is unselect the faces that I'm not interested in. And then I'll say finish. I got my report and I'm going to say export that. I'm going to put it in my class content. And let me just call this due south. So what I'm doing is exporting a text file that I can bring into a spreadsheet. I had exported a CSV file with the insulation values for all the points on the surface of this model. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a, a Excel spreadsheet. Um, let's put choose south. That's the option that I was looking at. And now what I'm going to do is say insert and I'm looking for actually not data from a text file. I'm going to look in my folder for the class and I'm going to find the CSV file that I called due south. I say to import, it, it uh, choose the file type. Well, it's a delimited file and it, the, the data is separated or delimited by having a character between it, between the, the data values. The actual character that it has between it is a comma, so I'm going to indicate that that's the case. And uh, I'm ready to uh, bring in the actual data into the spreadsheet. So if I say finish, that's the cell number A3. Uh, so I can say OK. There's my data. So all that remains for me to do is up here, I'm going to go to the formulas page, say automatically sum, and I'm going to drag down through all of the individual values that I get for the cell values on the analysis grid. I think there's about 200 and something. OK, and then I'm going to hit the Enter key. And if I roll back up here, there's the there's the value that I got. Let's just go to the home here and say let's show that in bold. And so that that's the total energy over the course of the year between the hours of eight and four that I have for the south basin. And I'm going to look at two other ones so that I can compare the two options where it's the building is oriented thirty degrees west and thirty degrees east. So I'll hide the columns that I don't need. I'm just going to go through here and then right click and say hide. So there's the final spreadsheet and what you can see is I've got, uh, if I just copy that value, place it in there. I just want to make sure. So it's um, V2 divided by B2 and then expressed here as a percentage. So depending on whether I turn the building to the west 
or the East, I'm losing between 7% and 4% of the, the uh, total energy that would be on the face of the building if I was facing due south. 